Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at some retro adverts. They are retro console adverts from anywhere, I think from the 70s right through to the 90s. I'm only covering a few systems. Uh, I've got a lot more adverts to go through in other videos, so this is part one. Um, today we're going to be covering a few of the very early systems. And here's the first advert. It's from Atari. Ah, that's me taking my third curtain call at the Alhambra Bradford. Sit! They loved me. Oh, sorry. I thought this was the party. This is the party. Oh. Right. Who's for Atari? <laughs> What's more, it's my party. Music hall's dead sunshine. Pac-Man, Missile Command, Super Breakout. That's where the action is. All linked up, young man. Just a moment. <laughs> right. Anyone for Haunted House? <laughs> you have to be fast on your feet for this. Um... Oh, don't say that. I want to show you who's tap dancing next. Atari. Simply more fun and games. <laughs> well, that was a fun advert, wasn't it? Uh, for anyone outside of the UK, I don't know if you know, that's the comedy duo Morecambe and Wise. Um, any UK people, you don't need any introduction to them, obviously. Uh, doing a, an advert from the 70s for Atari. Um, I believe it was from the 70s anyway. Okay, now on to the next batch. These are going to be a batch of ZX Spectrum adverts. He's been hunted in the arcades, but he's escaped. Now, Hunchback has jumped into home computers. Ocean's fabulous new Hunchback brings you the authentic arcade action. Jump over knights, swing over the fiery pit, outfox fireballs, dodge arrows, rescue Esmeralda, and... It's the hairiest, scariest video game in 400 years. Hunchback from Ocean, just one of a top-selling range of game programs on cassette for most popular micros. Wow. I'm not actually sure that's a specific ZX Spectrum game advert, to be honest with you. Um, Spectrum was the first one mentioned on there, obviously, but uh, the graphics did not look like the ZX Spectrum version from what I saw. Possibly the Commodore 64, maybe even the Dragon 32. I've never played that version, but um, yeah, it's still a, a game that was available on the ZX Spectrum, obviously, and uh, yeah, a very good one. Okay, on to the next one. We interrupt this galactic war with an important announcement. Both battle fleets have agreed ceasefire terms because they wish to play Arctic computer games, which they claim are more exciting than fighting. A spokesman said that they were convinced that Arctic computer games had made a major contribution to galactic safety. Remember, ask for Arctic computer games by name. Other games just aren't the same. Yeah. Arctic computer games. I remember a few of those back in the past. Um, I think I remember I had one called International Rugby. Yeah, so Arctic, uh, Arctic games were pretty well known to anyone who had ZX, ZX Spectrums back in the day. Okay, on to the next advert. Just showing the production line on this one, by the looks of things. Yeah, I think this is when they invented the new Spectrum. I had a 48K, I believe I had one of these two. It's a plus one, isn't it, I, I think? Zenic Spectrum 48 plus, that's it. Quite a price difference. I thought like I could talk over this advert because I knew there was no verbals. Yeah, that's um, it. They did Im improve the machine quite greatly actually. They did change a lot of features which people were asking for back in the day. Um, they changed the keyboard. Um, I mean, nostalgia wise, the rubber keys are brilliant, but they weren't very practical. They did stick quite a lot um, in, in the early days. And uh, so they, they invented that one obviously that could stand up off the floor as well. So it had its little um, legs on the bottom like most keyboards today do, you know, it's a very good innovation uh, back in those days. Yeah, and, and it was it was a, a welcome addition. I'm not sure it was worth like 50 quid more, but you know, I can't remember if it was actually more powerful. I think it was still the same 48K RAM and everything. So I don't think necessarily more powerful, but they added a number of features that people were crying out for. Okay guys, on to the next advert. Right, pay attention, Bond. This is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2. It's a fully operational computer with 128K memory, but it comes with three James Bond games and a light gun that fires armor-piercing shells. Now that's your assignment. No, no, don't sit in that chair. Sorry, Bond. Haven't perfected that yet. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2. Yeah, that's a pretty cool advert, isn't it? Yeah, obviously taking advantage of the whole James Bond phenomenon there. I never actually had that light gun on the ZX Spectrum. It looks bloody cool, though, to be honest. I'm sure you could probably buy one of them around. 
Okay, on to the next advert. Sinclair's new ZX Spectrum Action Pack has a powerful 128K home computer, a joystick, six very different games, and a deadly accurate light gun. That'll keep those droids on the run. The new Sinclair action pack puts the zap back into computers. <laughs> wow. So cool. Obviously, that's the Spectrum Plus 2. Um, the first one had the built-in cassette player, I believe. I didn't actually own one of them back in the day. I think I'd moved on to Commodore 64 by this point. Kept hold of my old um, 48K Plus ZX Spectrum as well. But um, yeah, I, di I didn't invest in a Plus 2 back then. I actually bought one more recently um, about uh, 10 11 years ago off of ebay um but yeah back back in those times I, I didn't invest purely because obviously i still had my 48k it was working perfectly you know that's still quite a nifty little advert though that one okay guys um, now it's time to move on to a new section of adverts the commodore vic 20. i've only got two of these for you but um let's see if these bring back some memories for you the makers of the commodore vic 20 would like to thank the makers of video game machines for preparing everyone for the next step real computers wow that was a, a bit of a bit of a little diss on the people that came before wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah i guess they had a point uh it's a computer i never owned a vic 20 i'll be honest since i've bought the 64 um you know the full size uh commodore 64 that they bought out recently uh, you can play vic 20 on it i haven't gotten around to doing it yet because i'm too busy reminiscing with the 64 but i'm going to check it out at some point i probably will do a video on my channel um about the vic 20 again in the comments let me know your thoughts did you have a vic 20 what did you think of it okay i have one more vic 20 advert for you and then we're going to move on to the commodore 64 and you may recognize a very special guest in this vic 20 advert why buy just a video game from atari or in television invest in the wonder computer of the 1980s for under 300 dollars the commodore vic 20 unlike games it has a real computer keyboard with the commodore vic 20 the whole family can learn computing at home plays great games too <laughs> under three hundred dollars the wonder computer of the 1980s the commodore vic 20 coming soon commodore brings you gorf the wonder arcade game and omega race in home versions commodore well you're not going to argue with captain kirk are you uh yeah i was very surprised when i, f I came across that advert for uh, vic 20 um how about any of you americans out there do you remember watching this advert before or did did he advertise that in canada because i know um william shatner is canadian isn't he i believe so it could have been in Canada, I guess. Um, but I don't know. But yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. And you're not going to argue with Captain Kirk, are you? Although I, I think I probably would argue that it wasn't exactly the wonder computer of the 80s. But, you know, that's personal preference. I haven't actually played one before. Okay, now we are going on to, well, in my opinion, what probably is the wonder computer of the 80s, the Commodore 64. I've got a huge soft spot spot for the ZX Spectrum, obviously, but Commodore 64 is the one I really, really got into. So, here we go. Here's a selection of adverts for the Commodore 64. Now we come to the main... In the competitive world of home computers, the Commodore 64 is absolutely unbeatable. With its enormous 64K memory, its printers, plotter, disk drive, monitor, and its vast range of software, we believe the only thing the Commodore 64 doesn't have is any serious competition. The Commodore 64. Never forget it's the world's biggest selling home computer. That's <laughs> how to use an elephant in a computer advert with no real like connection apart from the fact that it's uh, it never forgets. You know, that's, I think that's the gist of that advert, isn't it? You know, it's a big computer, it has no competition. And then they're saying that it, that it never forgets. So... <laughs> I'm not quite getting the connection on that one, but uh, yeah, it's a fun advert nonetheless. Uh, okay, I think that might be the only UK-based advert that I had for the 64. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna hear some catchy tunes from around the world. I think we start in the US, uh, but one of the most catchiest catchphrases you'll hear is in the Australian advert for the Commodore 64, which is coming up soon. This I think this first one is from the US. Let's have a look. I adore my 64, my Commodore 64. Commodore 64. My kids with it, cats with it, count my chicks before the hats with it. My Commodore 64. 
64K memory at a price that will put a computer in every home, business, and school years before anyone ever dreamed. I adore my 64, my Commodore 64. Well, I've got to say, that was very catchy too, to be fair. I hadn't really looked through that one. That was, yeah, that's a catchy tune, isn't it? Uh, I miss I miss these retro adverts for computers. and So they used to really get me excited when I'd see them as a kid, you know. You don't really get that anymore. It's a bit of a shame, but... Okay, here's another one. You'd have to buy this many Atari computers for $899 each to get the same built-in memory as this many Commodore 64s for under $600. <laughs> wow, that's short and to the point, isn't it? <laughs> kind of uh, having a real dig at Atari there, but... Uh... Well, I guess they have a point, don't they? You know, you've got something that's that much more powerful. You're going to flaunt it, aren't you? But yeah, that's a little bit of a cheeky advert, that one. I noticed that with a couple of these retro adverts, actually. They, do, they don't afraid to diss the competition, are they? I guess it was easier times back then. Not so many people getting sued and stuff. Okay, guys, on to the next one. Rather than compare personal computers ourselves, we asked the computers which one was better on the basis of price and memory. The Apple II preferred the Commodore 64. Then we asked the IBM, and it picked the Commodore 64. Then the Radio Shack chose the Commodore 64. That's what we like about our competition. They're so honest. The Commodore 64, what nobody else can give you at twice the price. <laughs> Another cheeky one. I like that. That's very, that's very cheeky, yeah. I don't think you could probably get away with that now, because, you know... Especially with a company like Apple, they would probably be all over you in the law courts if you tried that one. But <laughs> that was funny, that one. I, I do like that. Uh, okay, I believe we're off to Canada next. This certainly bears the name of Canada in it. So I'm assuming this is a very famous uh, shop or seller of com merchandise in Canada. Uh, but you never know these days, do you? You know, sometimes you have an English sounding like, you know, the old English something and it's in America. So you never know, but... I believe this is a Canadian advert anyway. Take a look, see what you think. Wishing you could join in the Christmas cheer, Ebenezer? Wishing I could get my hands on that Commodore home computer. Well, they got theirs a Canadian tire. Uh -huh. This week, get the Commodore 128 personal computer, just 44444. The 1571 disk drive, 36666. And save on the Commodore 64, too. But why a home computer, Ebenezer? You're just an old penny pitcher. Ah, but with a computer, I'll know precisely how many pennies I have to pinch. Canadian tire that you give by Santa. <laughs> That's quite a good, uh, quite a good little tagline, isn't it? Give like Santa, save like Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be a Canadian advert, hasn't it? I mean, come on, it's as Canadian as it gets. But it's just you, it makes you wonder sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes they they'll bring out stores in other countries, you know, keeping the same name. But got to be a Canadian advert. Okay, we're on to the next advert now, and this you're going to be singing this tune when you hear this one. Any Australian people that watch will probably know this one instantly if you're retro and game fans, but. Yeah, trust me, when you watch this advert, you will be singing this tune long after. Let's give it a whirl. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. This year, Commodore's family pack is more value than ever. You get an education in computers with the new Commodore 64, all these extras, plus four very realistic games, like Le Mans Formula One Racing, One Day Cricket Match, and the Armchair Official America's Cup Computer Game. The new Commodore 64 family pack. $499, keeping you ahead in the game of life. <laughs> so, you let me know in the comments if you've been singing that song since you watched this video. I know I have, yeah. It's uh, very catchy, isn't it? I think it's very well known in Australia. Um, it's only something I came across while I was picking these adverts out for you. Um, but, yeah, it, it seems to be... If you, if you look it up on some of the forums, it's a very well known advert um, in Australia. Which, you're not surprised, are you? It's a very catchy tune. Okay, on to the next advert. The Commodore 64 Family Pack is the best way I know to introduce your family to the world of the future. The Commodore 64 is the world's largest selling computer with more than 7 million units purchased worldwide and the world's largest software base for education and entertainment. With this superb Australian reference book included, all for $399 at Commodore dealers now. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Just in case that tune wasn't fully embedded in your head, there it is again. <laughs> it's a slightly subtler version, I guess, on that one, but you know, still, still the same results. 
Okay, I, I think they've got one or two. Maybe possibly um, this is the last Commodore 64 advert, but there may be one more after. I may have lost count. Here we go anyway. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. A data cassette and joystick. A comprehensive teach yourself program plus three additional software packages. The Commodore family pack now available from your Commodore dealers and major retail stores. Now that's value for money. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. I'm evil, aren't I? I'm absolute evil. <laughs> See, now it's like subliminal messaging, isn't it? You're definitely going to remember it now. now I'm kind of hopeful now that this isn't going to be... The next one isn't going to be that because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get too nasty with you. Now, I believe we're moving on now to the Commodore Amiga. Um, you know, we've, we've got a couple more computers to go out. There's a couple of variations of the Amiga to go and then that's going to be the end of these adverts. But uh, here's the first one for the Commodore Amiga. Take a look. When you were growing up, you learned you were facing a world full of competition. There were so many of you with all the right credentials. To succeed today, you need a way to stand out from the crowd, to make the most of your special kind of music. Introducing Amiga, the computer that gives you undreamed of creative power to work faster and more productively. With built-in color graphics, no other comes close to Amiga, the first personal computer to give you a creative edge. That's quite a clever advert, isn't it, that one? Bit, a, bit more of a classy one. Less, a, less a, of a, a sort of like, what is it, a brainwashing kind of jingle. <laughs> no no offence to the, our Australian cousins there because uh, that was that is one catchy tune, let's face it. Um, yeah, I loved my Commodore Amiga. What a, what a fantastic computer. Um, first one I felt that really took us into a new age. And yeah, it, it was awesome. Okay, got another few Amiga adverts to go, so here's the next one. I am the Commodore Amiga 500 home computer. Dazzling animation at your command. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, a multitasking home office in your hand. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, total home video you control, and arcade quality games in stereo. And now, you can be everything I am. Many other models available. See your full-service authorized dealer, Modern Business Machines. This is slightly more sinister advert, that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got kind of Halloween-y kind of vibes to that one. I guess it's just the guy's voice, really. I mean, obviously, the the uh, steam, steamy background, I guess, didn't really help. But, yeah, it's, it's not as jolly and perky as the other adverts we've been seeing, is it? Okay, guys, on to the next advert now. Look out for the amazing Commodore Amiga packs. And remember, you can win one by calling Commodore right now on 0891 101098 with the answers to our questions. And don't forget, all calls cost under one pound. So don't miss out. Get on the phone right now for your chance to win. There's a little random one for you. I was actually going to pretend that I'd rung the number and sort of like entered the competition. <laughs> didn't really give a closing date on there, did it? I didn't notice. I mean, it, they could have done, I suppose. But yeah, that's just a little UK. See, I wanted to get some UK representation in, but most of the adverts you can find nowadays are only really um, the American or Australian ones. The UK ones don't seem to be very well represented, which is a little bit sad, but um, there was one at least, and uh, I got to show it to you. Okay, on to the next one. I think this is another Commodore Amiga advert. <laughs> The Amiga 500 computer from Commodore. It's simply amazing. The extraordinary Amiga 500 computer from Commodore. It's a whole lot of fun. That's for all you Kiwis out there to show that you know we we're not just picking uh, from three countries there. And yeah, that's that's a pretty cool. Advert. It show, showcased quite a lot of what the Amiga could do on that advert, didn't it? That was pretty cool. Okay, now we're on to the CD32, and this one is a long advert. I think this goes on for about a minute, so uh, prepare yourself. I never found out why he chose me to share his secret. Perhaps because we had similar dreams. But this. This was twice as fast, twice as powerful as anything I'd ever thought possible. Though what that meant, I could never have foreseen.
incredible graphics and colors, so many colors. Um, to be honest that was a bit of a flop wasn't it the CD32 it's amazing now you go on eBay and you can't get one for less than about £350 which is kind of devastating for me because about 10 years ago I owned one and I've probably sold it for about 50 quid. so I'm absolutely devastated I didn't hang on to mine <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted yeah it never really took off the CD32 most of the games that were available on it you could get on the Amiga anyway and um, you know they, they did a couple of games that were quite good. I mean, there was a game called Liberation that I used to own that was that was pretty good. Complicated. I, I never really managed to get too far into it. But yeah, and I, I emulated a couple of the CD32 games the other day, and yeah, one of them just didn't play very well. Um, and and it it was surprising because I thought maybe I'd misremembered and. You know, I kind of skewed my view of the CD32, but it was a bit of a flop. I think we've got one more CD32, and then we've got an even bigger flop after that. <laughs> so here's the here's the next CD32 advert. Dad, you'll never believe what I just got. The new Amiga CD32 games console. It's got the best games, and it's twice as fast as any other console. Hmm. Not only that, but it also plays normal CDs. That's interesting. Yeah, soon it'll have full motion video so you can watch movies and stuff. Is that right? Maybe we should get one for the grandkids, eh, son? Great idea, Dad. The new Amiga CD32, available now at Dick Smith Electronics. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good piss take that advert apologies for the sound quality and picture quality in some of these adverts was that one there was um the sound was horrendous i had to do quite some serious editing on the sound file to make it even audible um it was only coming out of one channel and it was really low quality and compared to the others so i, th I think i did an okay job getting the sound up on that but that's quite a funny advert actually but yeah like i stick with what i said cd32 could do some things like it said there you could play normal cds um, I never tried to watch movies on it, so I don't know, but I'm guessing they must have got that feature up and running. But, yeah, just not the best. And I don't understand why they're going for £350 online, apart from nostalgia. Um, I, I'd admit I've been tempted to bid for one because I was used to have one, you know, and I was a bit, like, curious about getting one back in my life, but I don't know. I don't think for that money I would. Okay, right. Now, you guys in the comments, let me know what you think of the CD32, of course, but also this last one this is the very last video i'm going to show you i believe uh, you have to let me know if you owned one of these and what you think of it basically because i think i think i'm right in saying this is the last one actually i, I don't want to go asking the question for it and then uh, yeah i'm pretty sure this is this is the last one um yeah but it's um yeah i must admit i don't remember too much about it it's the amiga cd tv i'll tell you up front and uh yeah, I remember the Philips CDI coming out, and I think this was released sort of like in competition to that. But I don't quite remember what this was all about, and I believe it was only in production for a couple of years, and then it, they, they stopped production of it. Um, yeah, so considered a massive flop. Um, but here's the advert for it, and let me know in the comments if you owned one of these. Okay, off we go. doesn't really give too much away in that advert does it on on what the cd tv could do or etc but you know it's yeah i don't think that was considered a, a, a great success commodore computers you know commodore 64 vic 20s uh, you know commodore amiga great selling computers and brilliant but yeah they they kind of tailed off with the last couple didn't they really and uh, you know so I, I do have fond memories of the cd32 but now I look back on it, it's a weak machine compared to all the others. I mean, not a patch on the, the Amiga in the 64, without a doubt. And so, let me know what you think of these adverts. Uh, did they bring back any memories? Do you remember seeing them as a kid? Um, I don't actually remember too many of them on the TV when I was a kid. Um, 
possibly the ZX Spectrum adverts with the light gun. Um, but yeah, I've got a vague memory of those, but not. I mean, most of the other ones are, um, are from US and Australia, so probably wouldn't have hit in my in my country anyway. But um, let me know what you guys think. Do you remember these adverts when you were younger? Do you remember uh, buying yourself or getting a present for of one of these computers? You know, from the strength of the adverts. You know, hope they brought back some memories for you. Um, and it's interesting to see. And, and I think we miss the bygone days, don't we? Those of us that live through them. We kind of miss those, the innocence of those adverts, you know, the and the excitement of seeing them, you know. This is why I do, I, I also do a series where I go through the Argos catalogue. I haven't actually got as far as computers yet because I was in the, in the late 70s looking at that one, but I'm trying to do them all in order. But once we get to the computer section in there, that used to be excitement central for me seeing the computer adverts in there and uh, yeah that's i'm looking forward to this so I'll, I'll include a link in one of the cards on the the descriptions on this on this video and uh, for those ones and maybe you want to check those out at some point if you're into seeing the old computer adverts and stuff because coming soon we are in the computer age and uh, there'll be a few of those and i'm a little bit excited for that <laughs> i'll be honest okay guys thank you so much for watching and please subscribe as ever I'll leave a, or the, the link will be down at the bottom. I'll leave a reminder on the screen for you. Uh, also, don't forget if you've got any comments um, outside of YouTube that you want to leave me, any messages, um, my social media addresses will be on the screen now. Um, there's more links in the description if you want to get there directly. Um, and also, obviously, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let, you, let me know if you've got any requests uh, for future videos. And uh, just get some general chat going because I love talking to you guys. I reply to every message. If I do miss one occasionally, just send me a message and say, oh, you didn't reply to my last one, and uh, I'll be more than happy to... Because sometimes, you know, I'm getting on a bit now. The old brain lets me down. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully I won't miss your messages, but you never know. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video, whatever that may be. Bye for now, guys.